Hi, it's Kim from Apostrophe S, and I'm excited to be showing you our Sea Breeze Wind Chime Kit. Here is a look at our finished product. Now, it's a wind chime, so obviously you won't be displaying it like this, but this gives you a kind of a gist of how it looks. Um, we've got the sea glass pieces that create the chiming sound when the wind blows through it. And I just, I have to have, a, have you hear that. So let me go ahead and show you your kit. In your kit you'll have let's get this all out, some templates. These are going to help you um, organize your pieces. We've got your driftwood stick and your rope to use for tying. And then your glue and fishing line. Fishing line and glue right there. That will help your sea glass pieces dangle. And then, last but not least, the sea glass here. Now, because it's sea glass, though, every shape is going to be just a little bit different. So your your wind chime is going to have a unique and totally um, personalized look to it. Nobody will have one just like yours. <clears throat> now, you do need a few things from home. You're going to need some tape and some scissors. So let's go ahead and get started. The first step you need to do is to break out your um, gluing template. I've got mine here and you're going to want to secure it to your work surface just with tape. Stick that all the way down. Now once you've got that nice and secure you're going to organize your sea glass pieces on this with big pieces on the big rectangles, medium on medium, small on small, obviously. Um, and we also have the names of the colors listed, so dark green, deep aqua, all the way into this frost white. So that will help you organize it into the ombre look that we're going for. So play around with it, get it to um, a place where you like it. Um, switch pieces around until it's visually pleasing to you and you're really happy with it. And once you've got that all laid out how you like it and you have it centered on those little rectangles, we're going to start adhering the fishing line onto the backs of these sea glass pieces. So you'll need your line and some tape first. Get my little line out. There we go. Now I am securing mine all the way off of this paper actually. So if you're going to air, you might as well have more length on this side where you're going to tie. And then secure it at the bottom. Down here you're just going to clip it off in the end anyway, so it doesn't need to be all the way down that line. You can clip it off here. Um, I should mention also this uh, this fishing line is fishing line, so it will get tangled. If you keep it in the bag, though, just pinch in the center and pull as you go, you can reduce a lot of heartache and tangles, and it will make everything much easier, I promise. All right, so my tape is nice and secure, and I'm following that line as my guide. So now the next step is to get my glue out. Hold right here and tape the top. and the bottom, just in little dabs. Top. And the bottom. Just go down and do every piece. Centering it as you go. And I'm holding down the fishing line and putting just a little bit of pressure on that to keep it flush with the sea glass. It has a tendency to to pop up just a little bit, so if you put some pressure on it as you're gluing, that helps. And if you find that it's popping up even after you've glued, just tap a little bit while it's still tacky and that glue will grab onto it and, and pull it flush with the sea glass. So do that for all of your sea glass pieces, all five strands, then wait for 20 minutes while it dries. Now, the next step is super easy because it's the same thing. We're just going to be gluing fishing line on the back side. So my first line is already dry. I did that ahead of time. I'm going to give it a little bit of slack and flip these pieces over. 
and I want to get that tension back up. So I'll tighten that just a bit, line it up on my line. Okay, so now I've got my fishing line against the template. We're gonna try the top line now. So we'll secure it right here, giving it extra at the top, down to the bottom. Securing it there, clipping it. And we're just gonna glue it exactly the way that we did the other round. So make sure it's nice and centered. Hold down the fishing line as you go. Just glue the top and the bottom all the way down. Get all of your pieces done and all of your strands and wait another 20 minutes. So when you're done, you should have fishing line and glue on either side of your pieces. You've waited 20 minutes for each side to dry. For your next step, you're going to remove this and carefully pull up all of your strands and we'll move them onto the tying template. Do that. Okay, here is my tying template right here. I've got my strands lined up. You can see that these rectangles are going to overlap a bit. Um, and that's good. If they don't overlap, then they won't make a chiming sound when the wind blows them. So the only thing we need to do here is to tie our fishing line and our rope. And I'm using the basic of basic knots. Um, all I'm doing, I'm not good with fishing line and I'm not good with knots, but I can do this so you can too, I promise. All I'm doing here is putting either side on that branch or that stick, right over left, pull it, and then I'm doing left over right, pulling it, pulling it, pulling it, um, and then it helps me to have um, the bottom and the top strands in either hand. So I've got two lines in here, two lines in that hand, and I just pull it. And it's not going to be like a life-saving kind of knot, but it'll be tight enough that when you hold up your stick, the glass isn't going to go flying everywhere. Um, then you're going to do the same thing with your rope. So on this side, this is going to be much easier for you to see. And it's going to be a breeze after doing that fishing line. So here you go, we just do right over left, pull, left over right, pull, and it would be a great idea to grab your glue and do just a little dab of glue before you cinch that knot all the way. And then same thing on this side. Just like that. All right. Now, for our last step, you need to find a place to hang this and adjust the length of these strands. Um, it doesn't need to be anywhere fancy, like where you're gonna display it. It just needs to be like a doorknob or a hook or a push pin on a cork board. Something like that where we can hang it and you can see the weight of this and adjust the lengths accordingly. So we're gonna go find a place to do that. Okay, friends, so we've got this hung up here and we're just doing final touches here. So what we're gonna do is adjust these five strands so that the top stones, or the top um, sea glass pieces are a little bit more even. And the fishing line and the knots really help us adjust it. So this one you can see I've got it so low that it's a little bit off and it's distracting. So I'll pull these tight. And you can see how it cinched that right up and it's more in line with the rest of these. Um, now this one's too tight, so I just loosen it up a little bit, loosen it a little bit more, until I've got it in a place where I like it. Um, now once you've got them all lined up how you like, we're going to space them out across the, the driftwood stick and then secure each of the knots with the glue. That's going to hold your knot together and it's also going to secure it to this driftwood branch. Um, and also, I think it would be a great idea to secure these as well. Um, and remember, let it dry for 20 minutes. Don't just put it out in the wind right away. And then clip all of your ends down here and all of your, your little fishing line ends up here as well. 
Um, once you've got that done, you're ready to display it and bring a little beach into your house. We hope you've enjoyed Seabreeze from Apostrophe S. Make it yours.